Hello to everyone that's tuning in tonight. I hope everyone is doing amazing as always, knowing that you're blessed and chosen of the Lord. Quick conversation on faith. Well, first, let me just uh, just state that I am sending prayers to everyone in the path of this hurricane. Uh, Those who I'm seeing in the news that lost loved ones due to the hurricane, excuse me, uh, those in Afghanistan and families of soldiers that have uh, passed all my brothers and sisters in Christ experiencing persecution um, in Afghanistan. I recently heard from a pastor, but also in in any country. Um, also here in America, we we don't we don't experience persecution um, to that extent where they're you know cutting your heads off or wanting to to worship the Lord or uh, taking your Bibles and, and things of that nature. But also here in America, um, also those without electricity, we are they, they living in crazy times. Um, and my prayers are with all of you daily. I do believe that we are living in the end times. Uh, so I'm just encouraging to stay in prayer. Get right with the Lord. Keep that faith, that word, which is, is scripture, Jesus in you, because that's something that no one can take from you. I don't care if someone takes my Bible, my Bible app, paper Bible, whatever. Um, If you read your Bibles and and keep these things in memory, you know, at least you'll have that. But I do want to read a scripture where it says, uh, no one knows the day or hour. That's not the whole scripture, but but it states no one knows the day or hour of the Lord's return. So the only thing that we can do and need to do is just be ready, be ready to stand before the Lord. Uh, Just pray that you're accounted worthy to stand before the Lord. Uh, That's my prayer daily. But uh, tonight I want to speak on faith. Um, Faith without works is dead. Uh, That is James 2.20. So let me just read that scripture. Um, It states here, even so faith if it hath not works, is dead being alone. Excuse me if I sound a little um, congested. I have allergies. Uh, but it states here, yes, faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. There is more to that scripture, but that's the part I wanted to point out. Um, so stepping out on faith, moving to the Lord's calling, not seeing the end results. That's faith. I love the scripture in Hebrews uh, where it says faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. It's not faith. If we can see the end result, we're not really leaning on the Lord. If we um, know the end, but work is just as important too. work. God gives us the faith. We have faith in the Lord, but we also have to put in the work. For example, maybe leaving um, a job, a company you've been with for five years, maybe um, leaving a city that you grew up in and um, that you lived in for basically your whole life. And, you know, stepping out on faith is, is, is moving to a different city. Just just anything of that nature. Just make sure you're hearing from the Lord. You don't want to do anything of your own self. So just make sure when you are stepping out on faith, make sure it's it's coming from the Lord. You don't want to end up in anything that's that's not from the Lord. And also know that nothing is too much or hard for the Lord. I love the scripture in Jeremiah. Um, It states in Jeremiah 17, um, it states, Ah, Lord God, behold, Thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm and there is nothing too hard for thee. And the part that I think is when I say gangsta, um, it says, behold, I am the Lord. This is what the Lord is saying. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? No, nothing's too hard for the Lord. So let your request be made known to the Lord. That's actually scripture. I know to hear, let your request be made known to the Lord with thanksgiving and prayer. So there's nothing wrong wrong with not wanting to work for someone and wanting to own your own time. That's a whole different topic in conversation and, and episode. 
But yes, there's nothing wrong with wanting to own your own time because I have a lot to say about that. Working um, Monday through Friday, we work more than we spend time with family. That's a whole nother topic, though. But there's nothing wrong with those things. And j- let me give a quick story real quick. OK, so. I was in training for a job and <laughs> it's actually the company I'm with now. I was um in a training class and we had finished early so I think we had like two hours of just like downtime and they were they were just you know giving us suggestions or saying you know what you guys can you know get together go out to eat go do whatever you just got to be back in two hours and then this is what she said we own you and she didn't she wasn't trying to be rude or anything she she just said we own you that has stuck with me ever since she said that And it did not sit right in my spirit. You know, I've never been one to. uh, I've never cared about owning my own business or anything of that nature or wanting to work for myself until recently. You know, like I said, this is another topic because I will be sitting here talking all night. But she said we own you. So I'm not going to get into that tonight, but I just wanted to give you a little backstory with me saying i want to own my own time i don't want to work work for a company and spend time with um co-workers or a company more than i do with my own family okay that's 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 a different topic so i won't go into too much detail so it's nothing wrong with that um it's nothing wrong with growing and changing Cause guess who gives you guess who gives you the desires of your heart according to his will of course the lord so if i get a business idea ministry whatever i'm not gonna ignore those don't ignore uh those business idea you if you know you in the lord and you know that you seek the lord for your life and you just randomly get in these business ideas and ministry ideas or whatever whatever he's planted in you don't ignore that. He to the he to the um those ideas because it's the Lord giving you those. And as I stated before and in another video, the Lord, if it's in the Lord's will, he will pay the bill. He's he's going to equip you with what you need to be successful in those ideas that he that he's planted in you. But you gotta put in the work. Um so I want to read another scripture, Psalms 24. It states here, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And the world and they that dwell therein. There is some more to that. So the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. I love that scripture because it's like, okay. If we want something, ask him. It's his. I'm not sure if this is King James Version, but, but King James Version, excuse me, but here's another scripture. Matthew 7, 11. If ye then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? So just ask in faith, be ready to actually uh, put in the work. Um, also a few more scriptures that I want to leave with you tonight. Uh, just a few scriptures to, to read. I'm not really going to speak on them too much. Matthew 17, 20. Um, and Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief for verily, I say unto you, and this is a popular, uh, and one of my favorite scriptures also, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place. And it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. That's the faith that we have to have. We have to have the faith where we can, we can, uh, as the scripture states, tell that mountain to move from here to there. Just great faith because there's nothing too hard for the Lord. God gives you a business idea and you have no education, no experience no um connections not even the funds to start that business step out in faith 
Remember, faith, you, you can't see it. You can't see. You step out basically into the unknown, but you but you know that the Lord um, is going to bless it if he if it's according to his will and you you have that relationship with him and you've heard from him that this is the direction you should go. Nothing is too hard. No thought, no idea is too big that the Lord gives you. Faith is the substance of things not seen. If you don't have the funds to um, start that business, the knowledge, whatever. If the Lord is giving you that idea, do it. Pray. Walk in faith. And he will lead and guide you. Uh, what other scriptures do I have here? Uh, John 10, 7 and 9. It says here, then said Jesus unto them again, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Really, the, the part that I, I like that it says, um, I am the door. So, again, stepping on faith with the Lord. Um, Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Jesus is the door. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Seek the Lord. Go through the Lord. Go through that door um, to walk in faith and step out in your calling. So just read these scriptures and, and meditate on them and let them be your confidence in, in, in your everyday life and how you move. What else? Did I have any more scriptures? So no more scriptures, but I do want, I love this quote by Denzel Washington that I, that I do want to leave with you tonight. And Denzel Washington, his, his, uh, if you haven't heard any of his speeches, they are all just amazing. And I love that he speaks on prayer. He's always talking about prayer and Jesus and the Lord and spirit, recognize spirit. You know how they say real, recognize real. My Holy Spirit recognizes his Holy Spirit. Spirit recognizes spirit. That's what I say. Okay, so anyways, this is, the, this is what Denzel Washington said. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. There is no passion to be found playing small, settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risk. And then he, he talks about not quitting. Um, he talks about praying. So I love that. And I found not just this, this uh, uh, what he said here, but even in scripture to be true. The very first time I stepped out on faith in 2015 has given me so much confidence, has given me this voice. Um to trust the Lord has, has, um, uh, deep in my relationship with the Lord. I have a testimony in my, in my previous videos, um, about my experience in 2015, stepping out on faith and how I experienced angels. What if I, and I, at first, honestly, I I was so anxious and excited after well just a little backstory because I, I really can't speak unless I give you the backstory. I hope this is not too long. 13 minutes, 14 minutes, I think. Okay, well in 2015 I got my medical billing and coding certification and I applied to everywhere in my city. No one, I mean no one, they either turned me down or didn't respond. So Obviously, I was eager to start working and um, and the skill that I had just got certified in. So I just applied to different states and I just was going to go wherever. Um, so I did get a position um, eventually in a different state. Um, a state that I had a city that I have had never, you know, lived in. I had basically lived in my childhood um city and state my whole life or i did really i don't think i no i've never um left and moved and lived anywhere so this was my first time stepping out um and just trusting the lord 
and it was successful. Everything that I went for, everything that I went out for, I succeeded in it. It wasn't it wasn't always easy. It wasn't easy. I I, I did mention I experienced angels and um and some tough times. But those times, those tough times that I experienced um have made me into the woman, molded me into the woman that I am right now. That's why I have so much confidence in um stepping out on faith. I don't fear that. So I'm I'm in a season now where I'm I'm kind of I, I I feel the Lord speaking to me. I'm still seeking, uh, praying and uh, just being still and making sure I'm hearing from Him. But I truly feel I'm in a season to step out on faith again. And this time, guess what? It's not as scary. I feel stronger. I feel yes, more confident to do it. So I'm not going to get into all the, uh, into the details, but step out on faith. And then after you do that, stay in prayer, stay close to the Lord. Cause you can't do it without him. I think that's what this is all about. The Lord wants us to, first of all, I've said before, when you experience tough times in life, it does nothing. That's what I always say. Like, ha ha devil, you tried to, you know, make me struggle here. But guess what? You don't realize that you just um, uh, made me have a close relationship with the Lord. You just increased my faith. You just um, increased my prayer life. <laughs> me and the Lord, after that 2015 experience and other experiences that I haven't even spoken about and given testimonies about, look, our relationship is tight <laughs> and you know i pray that i continue to have a, a closer relationship with the lord that's that's my um goal and desire um but step out on faith don't quit as denzel washington just said in that that quote that i read um don't quit lean on the lord know that there are um blessings not just uh financially um, there's spiritual blessings in it, spiritual as in you growing, gr um, growing in knowledge and wisdom in, in the Lord. Um, and really money can't buy a relationship with the Lord, a, a true spiritual relationship with the Lord and belief. So I think that that's all I have tonight. Faith without works is dead. Yes, we pray, but we can't just pray and just sit there. If the Lord is calling you to do something that sounds or seems unreal or hard, just know that there's a testimony um, in what he's calling to you to do and blessings financially and spiritually so that's all i have for you guys tonight i hope you enjoyed this conversation um and this is just really about i share current situations that i'm dealing with and experiencing so as i just stated i feel the lord calling i, I feel that i'm in a different season um in this time a, a season of growth and change and stepping out on faith again and um, I just want to encourage you guys as the Lord encourages me, you know, with the scriptures. Um, if you enjoyed this topic, please subscribe, like, comment um, with any additional details you may want to add on faith or whatever we discuss. That's going to that's going to um, encourage me and others. Have a blessed night. I love all of you guys. Bye.